Hello there, it's May 2021, and Bitcoin is using as much energy as Egypt. And to be very clear, the message of this video for Bitcoin miners is not, you know, you want to go home and rethink your life. Yeah, that, that's a flame where I could do without. Thank you very much. Instead, we're going to be looking at how to read stats and get good information on Bitcoin. So let's get started and discuss Bitcoin stats on Rogue Upload. Wow, the sniping and all those articles going back and forth, it's still ringing in my ears like it's Woo! unfair to compare Bitcoin I, to Visa. It's like Bitcoin I hear the voices still. Replaces a Visa the voices. It is more than fair. Mining networks to. are largely based in China, which sources much of its power from fossil fuels Bitcoin like coal. Bitcoin helped immensely to promote decentralization. Adding cryptocurrencies to a portfolio Bitcoin makes is it making less life green. easier for many. I'm no expert on Bitcoin, but I thought I'd share my own personal odyssey with trying to find good stats for Bitcoin. I figure it's pretty important to know, you know, the basic stats of Bitcoin. How much energy are they using? Where is it coming from? And how the heck do they get it? So to address the last two first, there's a bit of a you know, desire on Bitcoin miners to keep that information secret. That's part of their secret sauce. They're not going to, you know, share it widely. Hey, here's a recipe for Bitcoin mining. Privately, they might share it with the researchers, but generally they don't post it on the public websites for people to, you know, check and verify Yeah, what they say is reasonable. If you look for numbers of how much renewables Bitcoin is using, you see widely this number 74.1 tossed around. Um, I think the people who came up with this number did a, a reasonable job of trying to investigate and get that information from Bitcoin miners. But just saying that number by itself doesn't tell you the whole story. In fact, the authors state that uh, they estimate they were maybe off plus or minus 10% on that number. And also, the amount probably varies season to season. The counterfactual of, well, what would happen if Bitcoin didn't exist, drives a lot of the debate. And without good stats, it's, you know, easy to see that those debates are going to slide right off into flame war territory pretty quick. A good example of this is how earlier this year, an article came out that claimed that a quarter of Bitcoin's hash rate had been knocked offline by coal mining accidents in China. And, well, is that just due to the fact that Bitcoining operations are using a lot of coal power? Or is this coincidental? It's hard to tell without good stats. One stat that we might have a good handle on is the amount of power that Bitcoin is using. We don't have the actual numbers. Uh, having actual numbers would require an all-encompassing clandestine surveillance operation that would make even the Illuminati blush with, uh, you know, joy. The Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index combines real-time Bitcoin activity data from Coinmetrics.io, uh, Blockchain.com, known hardware mining efficiency, electricity cost, and data center efficiency to compute a reasonable best estimate of the electricity consumption of Bitcoin. It's a it's that best guess number that you often hear as, you know, the Bitcoin network power consumption. So as I record, Bitcoin is using about 151 terawatt hours per year annually. And that's about as much as Egypt uses as well. So what I told you was true from a certain point of view. But I just left out that the index has a wide range of possibilities. At the low end, uh, Bitcoin energy consumption may be only 47 terawatt hours per year. At the high end, it might be taking as much as 520 terawatt hours per year. So why should we trust this index? Well, let's examine the assumptions that the index has for its best guess. And, well, you can see for yourself. Assumption one, the global average electricity price is constant, about five cents US dollars per kilowatt hour. And that's what a lot of research show, so it's probably a pretty reasonable assumption on their part. Of course, miners are going to want to exploit niches where they don't have to pay as much, but 
Okay, five cents US dollars per kilowatt hour. Cool. Assumption two, during time periods where there is no mining equipment available that is profitable, they use the last known profitable model. And that's also probably reasonable. Miners aren't going to instantly switch off their equipment. So assumption three and four deal with the mining hardware and the efficiency of things. That this gives the model the low bound and the high bound. So at the low end with assumption three, uh, miners are using the most efficient hardware. At the high end, miners are using least efficient hardware. And in the middle, uh, they think their best guess is miners are using an equal distribution of all profitable hardware. This is, of course, not realistic. Uh, all hardware isn't equally produced. Some efficient hardware might have only been available in very small batches. But in the aggregate, it's probably true. Miners are using an average of the stuff that's available on the market. The fourth assumption deals with the efficiency of the facilities themselves. So I think they mentioned on the website that Google's PUE or power utilization efficiency is about 1.11. And they give the low estimate as 1.01, which is pretty incredible, probably not realistic. They give their upper bound as 1.2, which might actually be kind of generous. And their best guess is a 1.1. So my gut feeling is the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index best guess is a pretty good estimate of the amount of power Bitcoin is using. There's a number of assumptions and limitations with their modeling, but it's probably the best that we can get. What you see online with the comparison of the Bitcoin consumption to a various country is maybe not the best use of stats because obviously we don't really know what the actual answer is for the power consumption of Bitcoin. As a wise man once said, only a Sith deals in absolutes. And in that same vein, I may not be Bitcoin's greatest fan, but I'm not his enemy either. I hope this video helps you seek out good stats to base your own opinion of Bitcoin. And yes, I have the high ground. So be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Matthew for Rogue Upload. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Now, if I could the just modern get the system, voices which is out of likely my head. Bitcoin more uses intensive. more electricity per transaction than any other could actually support power grids. Kind.